All right, so in this video, we're gonna be talking about multifamily properties in the Canarsie real estate market. We're gonna be assessing the performance of multifamilies in calendar year 2021. So if you're interested in learning more about Canarsie real estate, stay tuned. Now let's get into the first metric, which is the average number of homes sold in Canarsie. Now in 2019, this number hovered around four. By 2020, we saw this number go down to an average of two. And in 2021, we saw this number come back up to four. So what this tells us is that buyer demand for multifamily properties in Canarsie is returning to its pre-COVID level. So although we saw a dip in 2020, by the end of 2021, we see that these numbers are going back up to what they were in 2019. Let's move on to the second metric we'll be discussing today, which is the average number of homes listed on the market in Canarsie. Now in 2019, this number was 62. By 2020, we saw this number dip down to 56. By year end 2021, we saw this number dip down once more to 49. Now this means that unlike buyer demand, Willingness to sell in Canarsie has not returned to pre-COVID levels. Now, if you're a homeowner and you're interested in, in putting your property on the market, this is good for you because it means fewer homes on the market, higher the sales prices. However, if you're a buyer and you're interested in purchasing in Canarsie, it's not good for you because it means fewer homes on the market, the higher the sales prices. And let's move on to the final metric we'll be discussing today, which is the average sales price of multifamily properties in Canarsie. Now in 2019, this number was around 637,000. By 2020, this number did jump to about 686,000. By year end 2021, the average sales price of a multifamily property in Canarsie was $794,000, which means if you are one of the lucky few to actually have owned a multifamily property in Canarsie, you locked in about $100,000 in equity just because you owned your home. All right, now what I'd like to do is show you some examples of properties that actually sold in Canarsie in 2021. So we know that the average sales price of a multifamily home in Canarsie is around $794,000. So what I want to do is show you a property that's actually below the average price, show you a property that's around the average price, and then show you a property that's above the average price to give you a sense of what your money can actually buy and get you in Canarsie. All right, so now what I'd like to do is take a look at some of the properties that sold in Canarsie in 2021. And we'll be looking at a low price property, a medium price property, as well as a high price property. Now, remember we said that the average price of a home, a multifamily home in Canarsie, in 2021 was around $794,000. So the low price property we're gonna look at actually sold for $710,000 and it's located on East 103rd Street. You can see it here on the map. Um, it looks like it had five bedrooms, four bathrooms, and it looks like it was listed for $769,000 and it sold for $710,000. So let's take a look at some of the pictures of this property to see why it may have sold below list price and what the condition of the property was. So we see that the front of the property, we could see that immediately it's uh, attached on both sides. We see it's completely brick. We see that it has one spot for a car to park. And this gives us a sense of what, um, what the outside of the property looks like. Let's take a look at what the inside of the property looks like. So this is first view as soon as you walk in, the foyer, um, this is one bedroom. This looks like the flooring might need some work here. You can see that it looks like it's a little moldy. So either those planks need to be replaced or they need to be refinished. Um, moving on, we see this is the, the view of the kitchen area in the first floor, the one of the first units. Um, see it has a stove, but I don't see a refrigerator. So that's missing um, from this set in terms of this kitchen. Otherwise, the kitchen looked to be in, in decent condition. Bathroom, which looks modern. Uh, this looks like it was recently renovated. Very posh looking shower head. Uh, this is a, another view of the bathroom. Uh, the bedroom, same bedroom. Uh, probably the back entrance of the first unit. This looks like it's an exit. Uh, another view of the front of the home. The second bathroom, which also looks to be recently renovated. Um, this is another another bedroom. This step up 
looks interesting. I'm not sure if that's a step up into a closet or what this what is behind this door. And you can see that this light fixture does not have a cover. So although the home looks like it was recently or relatively renovated, it doesn't look like they um, finished the job, which might be why it's sold below list price. All right, but just take a look at the condition. So it's not terrible. It's not in terrible shape. You know, you can kind of move in and do some light work. Um, but that's probably why it sold for about 50k below what was listed for. So this is another view of the front of the property. This is the second unit. You see this unit has um, a refrigerator, but I don't know if we saw a stove in this kitchen. This is a third bathroom. Um, this looks like it's just another exit outside the basement. Meters, meters. Another view of the, the second kitchen. This is the, the view of the backyard, which is entirely paved. Um, another view of the backyard, a top view of the backyard. The first kitchen once more. First kitchen again. And we're back to the beginning. So that gives you a sense of what you're going to get for around $710,000. Um, in Canarsie, it's a multifamily property, again, five bedrooms, four baths, and it looks like it needs some light work, although it looks to be in move-in ready condition. All right, now let's take a look at the second property uh, that I want to show you in Canarsie that sold in 2021. So this property sold for around $825,000. It didn't sell for the average or around the average. Um, there weren't any properties that actually sold for around the average price, so we're going to look at this one. And this one, um, again, it's a multifamily property, so two units, five bedrooms, three baths, and it's about 2,500 square feet. Let's take a look at what the condition of this property looks like. So you can see the front view, it's multicolored brick, which is nice. Um, there's some yard area in the front of the house, and it's an indoor garage space. Now this house is only attached on one side as opposed to the first property we saw, which could be one of the reasons why it sold for a premium. Relative to the first property, we see that this house has better curb appeal as well. But let's take a look at what the inside of the property looks like. So we see it's wide open space. This is a living room, um, bathroom, side view of the property, the backyard, there's some grassy area. There's actually a yard. It's not completely paved. It also has a tree, which gives you some nice shade. Um, this is the, the backyard once more. Some floor plans. Uh, the front of the property. Front of the property. Uh, this is a living area. Again, living space, living space, living space. Uh, dining area, dining area, and the front of the property. So it looks like Although there are two units in this house, in on this property, we only got a view of one of the units, so not quite sure what the other unit looks like. However, the first unit does look like it was very well taken care of. So this is what $825,000 will get you um, in Canarsie, a property that looks similar to this one. All right, now let's take a look at the final property uh, that I want to show you that sold in Canarsie in 2021. This is also a multifamily property, and this property sold for $840,000, has six bedrooms and five bathrooms. So let's take a look at what this property looks like in terms of its condition. Um, one interesting thing about this property was that it was listed for nine fifteen, dollars so it actually sold for about $75,000 less than what it was listed for. That is interesting. Let's take a look at maybe we could see why that was the case. So this is the front of the property, and this also has multi-colored brick, which is nice. It's got good curb, curb appeal. There, there isn't any green um, that we can see from the front view, but it still looks like it was taken care of. Uh, this is the the living room um, inside the property. This is a kitchen. Another view of the kitchen, the dining area, bathroom. This looks to be another kitchen. 
So yeah, so what you can do is you can count the number of kitchens in multifamilies, which lets you know the number of units that you can get. So in this particular, um, this particular kitchen, we see that the appliances are black. But when we come to this kitchen, see that although the cabinetry looks similar, it has a white refrigerator. So we could see that it says completely second unit or separate unit. Um, so this is that same unit that we just saw just close up. Uh, one bedroom, the front of the property once more, another bedroom. This is the same bedroom. Bathroom. This looks like another view of the second unit. Another view of the second unit. Backyard. It looks like there's no greenery at all. It's just um, it's completely paved. Boiler room, water heater, some floor plans. Another view of the front of the property. The front of the property. Uh, living area. Dining area. And this looks to be a third kitchen. So though it's listed as a two family, this looks like it can be used as a three family home. There are three kitchens. So um, yeah, it's in decent shape. It may have been overpriced when it was originally listed, but definitely, um, definitely three different units or three separate units are in this property. So this is what $840,000 could get you in Canarsie if you're interested in um, what the condition of the potential property might look like and if you're interested in buying in Canarsie. All right, well, that sums up my video about the Canarsie real estate market. I hope you learned something about Canarsie. I hope you learned something about real estate and I'll see you in the next video.